Denise Richards grew up in a small town in the Midwest, later becoming one of the biggest bombshells in Hollywood. Although Richards has enjoyed a lot of career highlights, she's also had plenty of heartache, drama, and scandals that she's dealt with, including the death threats and how she allegedly had two affairs, one with co-star Brandi Glanville on the set of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Denise Richards has been part of the Hollywood scene for decades. After traveling the world as a teen model in the late 80s, the gorgeous blonde with the permanent smile turned to acting. When Richard's dad learned of these plans, he went so far as to cite the Screen Actors Guild's statistics of actors and saw how many don't work. She shot back, I promise I'm going to be one of the ones who work. And so, being as good as her word, young Denise started making a living as an actor. With her full lips and long, luscious locks, Richards became a Bond girl in 1999. Feedback on her role, however, was less than kind. It came with a Razzie Award for Worst Supporting Actress and criticism for wearing skimpy attire to play a nuclear weapons expert named Dr. Christmas Jones. And you are? Miss? Dr. Jones. Christmas Jones. And don't make any jokes, I've heard them all. I was so crushed, but I was thinking, I'm a Bond girl playing a scientist. Would they want me wearing a lab coat and dressed conservatively? It's tongue in cheek. Denise tried, quote, to block out a lot of stuff, but I'm also human. As a result, she had to develop a very, very thick skin over the years. Carrying around that much armor while still possessing a healthy dose of eternal optimism helped this star get over that early career bump. Indeed, after appearing in The World Is Not Enough, the actor shamed for her work went on to book many more roles on both the big and the small screens. She'd become fully settled in a successful Hollywood career. A career that often comes with more highs and lows than the most insane roller coaster. Two years later, she made headlines we are unlikely to forget anytime soon. When Denise Richards married Charlie Sheen, a dream turned to nightmare. They were both given small parts in 1993's Loaded Weapon 1, but did not appear in the same scenes. That synchronicity happened eight years before they formally met on the set of the rom com Good Advice, and once again when she guest starred on Spin City. Their time making the movie and sharing the spotlight on the TV show brought them real close. When she married Sheen, Richards felt she had found her soulmate, something she wrote about in her memoir, The Real Girl Next Door. At the time, Sheen was sober, and Richards chose to believe he changed. But unfortunately, that status didn't appear to last, because by the time they had been wed for three years, the good part of their union had unraveled entirely. Sadly, the man she once considered her ideal partner turned out to be quite the opposite. As she wrote in her memoir, Dolly Parton once said, If you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain. And let me tell you, there were times it felt like torrential downpours. After much thought, Richards finally admitted that her marriage to Sheen had become an absolute train wreck she could no longer cope with. Not only was her marriage done, but she was six months pregnant with the couple's second daughter when she filed for dissolution. Moreover, she made this drastic move while Sheen was in the midst of a drug and alcohol relapse. When I got pregnant with Lola, things started to change rapidly. It was a very dark time, she said during a confessional on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. When she filed for a divorce, she simultaneously sought a restraining order alleging he'd made death threats against her. Years of bitter custody battles and public mudslinging, primarily by Sheen, followed. And it was something that I felt was out of my control. The, all the stories and they would just, I mean, it was almost every week for two or three years. And, um, and it was hard. Denise spilled her life story when writing The Real Girl Next Door, published in 2011. The reason she wrote her autobiography was that this Midwestern girl with her Midwestern values wanted to show how people going through difficult times will have hope that they can get to the other side. According to Richards, they can do so, just as she did after she hit rock bottom, following her split from Sheen. She made it known that, in her time, she did not skirt the significant issues concerning what HuffPost dubbed her tumultuous life. The actor wrote candidly about what happened with her ex-husband and the subsequent downfall of their union. Richards stressed that Sheen had changed. The man I fell in love with is very compassionate, humble, has a wonderful heart. In contrast, she said Sheen's behavior in the last six months of their marriage is not the person that I met and fell in love with. In some suspended state or not, I, I tend to be victimized by my anger at times. Still, the author did not use this particular platform for the sake of bashing her ex. 
On the contrary, she submitted. I still care for him very much and want him well. He's a survivor, and if anyone could pull themselves together, it's Charlie. Writing an autobiography wasn't enough. Before appearing on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Denise put her life on blast via Denise Richards' It's Complicated. The reality show's premiere bowed in 2008 to focus on the actor following her divorce. Throughout each It's Complicated episode, Denise showed how different she was compared to the person the tabloids tended to write about. To set the record straight, the star invited a Red Book journalist to her home for an interview. Denise told the outlet she decided to do her reality show because her mom wanted the world to know the real Denise Richards. So naturally, this meant discussing everything, including the particulars about her relationship with Richie Sambora, Heather Locklear's ex-husband. After her divorce from Charlie, Denise dated former Bon Jovi's lead guitarist, Richie Sambora, for about a year starting in April 2006. Although rumor had it that she broke up her friend Heather Locklear's marriage to the rock star, Richards made it clear that at the time, Sambora was on the road to divorce, just like she was. In the beginning, they just talked as friends because they were dealing with similar situations. Richards readily owned up to the repercussions regarding her time with Sambora. I get why the public thinks I'm an awful person who stole someone's husband, she admitted, adding, In my heart, I know I did not break up their marriage. If either Richie or I had felt our marriages were fixable, we wouldn't have crossed that line. As for how she felt when she dated him, according to the actor, being with Sambora brought a sense of happiness to her home that hadn't been there in a long time. The alleged affair with Sambora wasn't the last affair she supposedly had. In 2019, when she appeared on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, the entire season has been building toward castmate Brandi Glanville's claiming that she had an affair with Richards, fueling reports that the actor then secretly quit the show. The first night I met Denise, we made out in the bathroom. She asked to see my tits because she said she had to get her boobs redone. We went into the restroom, she threw me against the wall, and we were making out, but we were wasted and it was fun and I'm like, I'm down for fun. Glanville fanned the flames by sharing what appears to be a lip-locked photo with Richards and leaving suggestive comments on Richards' Instagram. But Richards shot down those allegations. There's definitely consistency with the subject matter that comes up on this housewives season, and that's all I'll say as well as rumors that she and Fipers have an open marriage. If I had an open marriage, I would be open about it, Richards cheekily said at the time. A good old Twitter war broke out, with Glanville saying her fellow castmate lied after insisting the two never hooked up. She met with Richards and her now husband, Aaron Fipers, during which time the women discussed their threesome experiences. Ultimately, the real scoop regarding Richards and Glanville was never settled, let alone confirmed. Still, the rumor mill continued to go on about this situation for what seemed like forever. Denise did not stay on the show, though. After season 10, the actor called it quits. And since then, the constant Glanville slash Richards chatter has quieted down. Well, a bit anyway. A year after the horrible divorce from Sheen, the actor received another blow. Richards' mother, Joni, died of kidney cancer at age 54, which made Denise start looking into alternative health treatments for herself. That research eventually brought her to a frequency healing center run by Fipers. Two days after announcing their engagement in 2018, they got married, and a year later, he was in the process of legally adopting Eloise, whom Richards adopted as an infant in 2011. Aaron and Denise, in accordance with the laws of the state of California, you may seal your vows with a kiss. Somehow, during all the turmoil, Denise found the time to adopt her daughter and learn sign language, as Eloise has a rare disorder called chromosome 8, which can cause growth and speech delays. Of course, Eloise's arrival was a bright spot in Richard's life, and things continued to go up from there. Despite the trouble with Sheen, the actor tries to maintain a co-parenting relationship for the sake of their two daughters. Yeah, no, you have to do that for the children. You know, um, there's no other way to do it, because otherwise, they start absorbing it uh, as, as, as their own fault, their own blame, and then, then everything goes to hell, you know? I don't want them ever to feel torn between the two of us, says Denise. Not only has Richards been raising her own children, but in 2013, she was also granted temporary custody of Sheen's twin boys. This situation happened after their mom, Brooke Mueller, lost the twins when Los Angeles Department of Child and Family Services took them away due to her erratic behavior. The arrangement lasted a few months until Richards gave up caregiving for the four-year-olds, given the twins' capacity to display extreme violent mood swings, as described in the actor's letter to DCFS. 
Explaining how she approaches mentoring her kids, Denise said, I teach my daughters whatever it is they believe in, to believe in it and not be swayed by peer pressure or what others might think of them, and to stand strong in that, and it's okay if there are differences. That's all we have for you today, juicers. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity stories. And we'll be right back. Be well and be kind.